guys, it's Sarah, and sorry about the noise in the background. Got my aunts and my cousin is here, and they're watching a movie. So, okay, if you've seen any of my videos, even met me in real life, you know that I like Harry Potter a whole lot. I am a fangirl. Okay, and you know, I am obsessed. My mother obviously knows it. I am obsessed with the Harry Potter and the Gala fire bathtub scene. Okay, when I first learned about that scene, I had no clue what it was actually going to be about. I mean, the vic picture that I had in my head was nothing like what I actually saw. So I was picturing a bathroom, a simple bathroom that looked kind of like Myrtle's, like, you know, regular, with a bathtub in it, a cloth of so pure white that was just about three or four feet off the ground and that he was lying in, covered in bubbles. And Myrtle was, like, peering over the edge of the, peering, like, over the edge of the corner of a wall at him. And him. I wasn't expecting to see what I actually saw. And I thought the scene, tran like, he was, like, in the hallway with Ron Hermione and like a bunch of people and he's like oh I'll catch up with you later and then goes in the bathroom and goes I had no clue I thought it was just gonna be a throwaway thing I didn't know it was actually part of the tournament I didn't know it was a huge plot point so I'm fiddling with my glasses so with my glasses so he so and then I realized and then I asked my mom's friend who had told me about and I was like Okay, moaning Myrtle haunts the girls' bathroom. How was she watching Harry take a bath? If she, she was like, oh, Harry was taking a bath in the girls' bathroom because it had a tub. And was like, what? So I was really confused. I'm like, and then I got home because we were on the car ride to the zoo at that point. So we get home. I get home. I watch the video. And I just, I'm like, this isn't what I pictured at all. Okay. And then I realized, what if someone actually was trying to verbally explain this scene to somebody? Like, this is like me. I haven't seen the movie. I hadn't seen the scene at that point, and I had, and I hadn't like had any idea what it was about. So I had this totally different idea from what I actually, what it actually was about. So I, I'm going to try to do my best to explain this scene to like it's like I'm trying to explain it to a muggle like how I'm going to explain this and see if I can do a good job of verbally explaining okay so Harry and Hermione are having a conversation on the bridge it doesn't actually start out in the bathroom and Cedric comes up to Harry and tells him to take the golden dragon egg into the prefect's bathroom to take a bath so he goes in there and we see him, like, take his robe, like, not his school robes, his back robe off and just sinks into this tub that looks like a freaking swimming pool. It, like, takes up the entire room. And there's a stained glass window of a mer, you know, there's sunlight streaming through the windows, even though, which is kind of ironic because the book was in the, look, when Harry did this, it was in the middle of the night. It was probably in the middle of the night. Well, I don't think it was sunlight. I mean, I couldn't tell, but... So it was full of bubbles. I'm pretty sure it was really nice and warm. I'm like, it probably wasn't that deep because he was kind of sitting down. So I'm like, and yes, he was either partially or completely naked. But I only saw him from about his midriff up. And so he opens the golden egg. It lets out the screeching sound and he's like, I'm definitely out of my mind. And then Myrtle shows up and it's like, I try putting it in the water if I were you. So, and then she freaking, she's teasing him, talking to him. Um, and she's like, oh, tell him about how she found the polyjuice potion. And then, there was just some casual banter. So then she just jumps in the tub with him in the water and then tells him, go on, open the egg. So he opens the golden egg underwater and he hears song. I will not try to explain that. It's Harry Potter. It's 
Why do I try to apply logic to? Do not go and try to apply logic to this. It's a magical world. This is not scientifically possible. So, and then he comes up out of the water and his hair is all wet. And then, oh, it's kind of like leaning next to him. He's like, there aren't my people in the black lake. Like, oh, very good. Sorry about that. My mom came in. So, he... So, he's, like, talking to her, and then... I'm sorry, Dakota. I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> it's okay. Brush your teeth. I did. Sorry, that was awkward. <laughs> My mom just came in and, like, turned the lights out on me. She said, I'm doing this at night. So, so he, she starts teasing with him, flirting with him, and then she starts trying to look down at his genitals, his groin area. I'm using the scientific term for it. So he starts moving the bubbles toward himself and then, but throughout the entire scene when she was getting closer to him, he was like gathering up the bubbles to cover his chest. And then she just kind of snuggles against his shoulder and he's just like, oh, I give up by that point. So that's basically how the thing transpired. It might be incredibly difficult to understand. It might be totally illogical. But this is a movie. This is a series about magic and wizards and all kinds of crazy mythology and stuff. It's not going to be scientifically accurate. So don't go trying to apply logic to this. Even though I like to try to apply logic to it. And say, how, oh, there's no way in, hey, in the world that this is possible. That this is possible. So... Yeah, that's me basically trying to explain the Goblet of Fire bathtub scene to someone who has never seen it.